So, what if? Now, why am I doing a what if? Because, not because I haven't run out of ideas for Star Wars superheroes. I got plenty of those still. But, I don't have as much time to prepare them now that I work full time. Uh, they don't get as much hits as some of my other videos. The what ifs seem to do all right. Um, and, and <laughs> if you've watched my channel long enough, you know I kind of don't care as much about hits as you might think. I want many people to watch and love my videos, absolutely. But, I'm not going to be pressure to be like, oh my god, I'm making the hits, I'm like, yeah, I was like, if I were making money, it'd be more a big concern, but I'm not, so it's not, <laughs> uh, but no, I just, because I've been having more ideas for what ifs again, and a couple other ideas for the channel, and because I already rotate the superhero and Star Wars and what, oh, whatever, I figured, why don't I just switch that out and just make it a random video every third, like, thir random Thursday, maybe I'll call it, welcome to random Thursdays, and this week's a what if kind of thing. So why not do that? I've had other ideas, like a lot, like I've got plenty of actually other ideas to think, go by. Um, so I figured I'd do that. Not that I still won't do Star Wars superhero movies, but or videos, but it's it's one of those things that there's plenty of other YouTubers who do. It's like Stupendous Wave does great Star Wars. I love his videos. I love his videos to death. What you you can check those out. They kick the they kick the shit out of my videos because there's actual production quality in them. Um, it, more or less, I don't. Honestly, and I'm not I'm not joking, anyone who has any level of production quality beyond sitting in front of a camera and talking probably has a better videos just in terms of their production quality. Now, how they present themselves and all that talk on the uh, their channel, that's another thing entirely. Maybe I do that better in some of the videos. I'm certain I do that better. In others, eh, not quite. Uh, but anyway... You're, we're not here to talk about that. We're just here to talk about whether Super Saiyan 4... What if Super Saiyan 4 was canon in the DBZ slash Super World? Now, a lot of us have problems with GT, me and myself included. But we can art it wasn't... But was GT terrible? I wouldn't say it was terrible. Was it good? No. Was it okay? I would just go with okay. Was there the parts I loved about GT? Absolutely. I thought the Shadow Dragon stuff was a really cool concept. We saw Gogeta again out, out of Fusion Reborn. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. That was pretty awesome. Um, I thought the baby stuff was pretty cool. And Super Saiyan 4. Now, there's plenty of stuff that sucks. Android 17, Super 17. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no one likes Super 17 at all. <coughs> but... I think what I think I think what a lot of people did like coming out of Super Saiyan uh, coming out of Super Saiyan Four coming out of GT was Super Saiyan Four. It was a cool design. It was a cool idea. It was a cool concept. Would I have liked to see the hair still remain gold? Probably. Uh, or honestly, give them the red hair. The red hair looked really cool. As if, I don't get me wrong. The black long mane of hair was pretty awesome looking. And you could there's a way you could have done. There's plenty of fan art of why Super Saiyan gold like Super Saiyan uh, Four with gold Super Saiyan hair would have worked. There's plenty of fan art showing that. All you gotta do is make the fur a darker gold and then contrast that with uh, a lighter gold like normal Super Saiyan. That's how you do it. Or vice versa. That's how you do it. But whatever. But it begs the question, what if we took the GT Super Saiyan 4 non-canon form and put it into DBZ and Dragon Ball Super and made a can? <coughs> Excuse me, I still have a cough. So the question becomes, how does Goku get his tail back? Now, I, fully, I believe that Goku would get his tail back during the seven years he trained in the other world between Cell Games and the Boo Arc. I fully believe that's how that happens. Uh, now, in terms of his power level, I, if, when going into what if Goku kept his tail, uh, you can watch that, who, uh, that what if. I don't believe in his younger days it would have made a difference. Like, I, think I, think, I think I said it would have given him an extra like 100 base power. Um... But, in like, percentage-wise, as you get higher in the scale of Saiyan power uh, power levels, it would not have made that big a difference. Like, if again, we'll use an example. Not that I think Goku's uh, power at that point was, like, a base 50 million. But if it was, like, a base 50 million, it might be, like, a 55 million. Not a huge amount, but enough that it would have maybe edged him out in certain ways. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. So... Yeah, but anyway, Goku shows up. Nothing really happens that's going to change uh, between uh, him fighting, him coming back, and him all the way up to fighting Super Buu and then getting absorbed by and turning into Vegito. Nothing's going to change between from that. But what I think happens 
is that Goku in Super Saiyan 3 is fighting Kid Buu. Now, again, we're going with a slightly stronger Goku. So he's maybe got more of an edge on Kid Buu than he did in the, originally in the fight. But he, uh, but like, like, uh, in the, like in the show, like in the manga, he's starting to talk. He, it, Super Saiyan 3 just drains him so fucking much. It's, it, it just zaps his uh, power so, so quickly. So what happens is, uh, you know, he's getting beat down. You know, Boo's coming. Uh, then Fat Boo reemerges. Goku's just, you know, weakened. <coughs> he lo sees the moon. I'm pretty sure there was a moon on the Kai's world. He sees some sort of celestial body. And all of a sudden, he just, you, you get that. Just, boop, 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 boop. And then ooh, turns into turns into golden Ozaru. All of a sudden now he's just smashing and smashing all around, just boom, ooh, boom, just like he kind of did with baby, baby. And he's just beating around. Vegeta, uh, uh, Hercules just like, what is what is going on? I don't know, but I gotta get out of here. I got, I gotta change my drawers. <laughs> Uh, and you know now now Kid Buu's like oh, he, he, now he, Kid Buu just like wants to fight the Golden Azaro. He's not hurrying it very much. He's pissing it off. <coughs> now the question is, how does he become the Super Saiyan Four? It's not going to be Vegeta that does it. Not going to be Hercule does that. It's going to be King Kai using his telepathic abilities with ever, all his friends in the other world, like Yamcha, T, um, Ch uh, Krill, and all that. <coughs> It just, it was like, Goku, Goku, it's like, yeah, it does it. All of a sudden, the voice, like, kind of like how Pan was able to reach back inside uh, and uh, his consciousness and bring him back out. It's going to be all his friends' voices coming back and reminding him, it's like, no, I am, I'm not going to, I'm not going to lose control. I got a job to, I got to save, I got to save my friends. I got to save the universe. And all of a sudden, he comes like, Rah! and then, like, do, 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 do. I can't do that. Step into the grand to grand Dragon Ball GT. No, we're not going to get that. So. Uh, or, you know what? Fuck that. No. When Goku changes into Super Saiyan 4, Dragon Ball Z. There you go. That would be awesome. I would be so down for that. Because um, it wouldn't be the same kind of epic transformation. Let's be clear. I think... While Super Saiyan, original Super Saiyan, his first transformation at uh, Namek was his most was his most nostalgic epic transformation. I, I I'm sorry, whether you like the look of the form or not, Super Saiyan 3's transformation the first time we see it is probably one of the most epic things we have seen in Dragon Ball Z. But point being, Goku transforms. He's now he's now kind of gotten his, and it's gonna look like he doesn't GT as much as I would like to see the golden version. It's gonna look like that. So we see him, and he's now look at like. Kakarot, what is this power? It's like, eh. it's like what's up, Vegeta? It's like, what's up, Vegeta? It's like, he just gives a, are you, are you back to his eyes? It's like, boo, she's like, huh, boo! It's like, ah, boo! No, it's like, it was more, it was more proud. Boo! And Boo's just gonna try to beat the shit out of Goku. But remember, Super Saiyan 4, not only can Super Saiyan 4 be maintained far easier than Super Saiyan 3, but it's four, relatively speaking, it's ten times stronger than, than Super Saiyan 3, give or take. So now Goku is going to literally stomp Kid Buu into the dirt. Just, just boom, boom, just, Buu's just trying to fight, he's like, do, 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 just doing his fingers, do, do, boom, boom, boom. So, and it's just super energy ball to destroy everything. Throws it down, Goku just, catches it with one hand, Buu just like, oh, the, and just blow, it just blows up and say, "Boo!" Say, now Goku does that, and I, this wasn't awesome. I love the Kamehameha he did against um, Baby. Just that boo energy blast in both hands, just do, and then combines them together. Kamehameha, and Boo's even like, "Boo!" He's, he's guy is like, "I gotta get the fuck out of here." It's like boo in the butt. Nope, and too late. Ha! And then just incinerate. Completely and utterly obliterates Kid Buu. So, kills Kid Buu. Now we move on to Super. Now, Goku. Oh, I'm gonna have to do a video at some point. Uh, why I real? Uh, I'm not a Chi Chi fan re that much. But as of Super, I hate Chi Chi. Oh my God, has she become a complete idiot and a complete insufferable waste of a character. <laughs> um, 
<coughs> Point being, though. I digress. Goku, basically, he's keeping up. He, more or less, it's only like a couple months after Mo. Now, from what I understand, the times, and I'm trying to figure this out because I'm doing the uh, writing the power level episodes at the moment. And some of these characters are not easy because they have no official canon. Um, <coughs> power levels. Like, I'm trying to do Trunks and Goten right now. That's not easy to do. Because I have to compare it to characters I've either already done or have to realize, oh, I haven't done this character and I need it for this character. I need to now write that character out. <coughs> so, it's not easy figuring it out. Um, now, uh, Goku's still about the same. Uh, basically, he goes to training King Kai's plan for a while. Beer shows up. Now, well, again, we're still going with Goku as a tail and all that. It, he's slightly stronger. Again, using comparison, if he's 50, he's about 55, so he's like that percentage stronger. Between the between his first three forms, the fight's going to go roughly the same. Super Saiyan's going to go roughly the same. Super Saiyan 2's going to go roughly the same. Three, he's not. I don't. I will fully admit, I don't think he gets KO'd in those two hits. <coughs> I think he's near on the ground. It's, it's just ah uh, ah. Uh, I was like, mm, so well, you survived that. You survived two hits. That's quite impressive, Saiyan. That's quite impressive, Saiyan. But if this is all you're capable of, you can't. You, it's like I think we're done here. It's like, no, it's like this. This isn't quite all I'm capable of. It's like and then Beerus actually raises an eyebrow. It's like, it's like Go Goku, don't, don't you dare! Ah! And goes Super Saiyan 4. And even Beerus and Whis are a little surprised by this because first off, we don't know what percentage of power Beerus is using when he's when he uh, basically curb stomped Goku. <laughs> Um, we know that whatever the percentage was, it was very, mis I'm going on a limb and saying he was using maybe one or 2% of his power and that at one or two or one or 2%, he was stronger than a super Saiyan two or a super Saiyan Vegito because Goku even said, even if he and Vegeta fused, it would not be enough to take on Beerus at that level of power, which is terrifying how strong Beerus actually is. <laughs> <clears throat> which is when I get to that, I'm trust me, I'm getting to I'm when I do the palaces, I'm getting to everyone I can. I'm not just doing like the main cast Beerus and Weiss and all that stuff and all the Z fires. I'm talking about we're going universe six. I'm gonna do all the universe <laughs> universal story arc, Zam Zamasu, all these fuckers are getting power level readings from me. But I digress. So but that being said, Goku they're actually legitimately surprised. Now Goku was enough. Goku as Super Saiyan thing was enough that he actually did make Beerus use a little bit of his power, <coughs> like a little bit of his power. But at Super Saiyan four, I think that even causes Go uh, Beerus and Whis to be a little taken back. That it's like there's someone this strong out there, and Goku I think is actually going. It's kind of being. I think he's str he's definitely stronger than Vegeta, even when he ra raged boost against uh, Beerus. So, uh, Goku's going to take this opportunity. I think uh, I think Beerus is actually going to be so, like, a little taken back. Not Again, not taken back. It's just like, oh my god, he's like Super Saiyan God. No, he's not going to do that. But, he's going to be like, well, that's surprising. And Goku's actually going to get a lucky shot, a good a first hit, and just, doom! Axe, <laughs> blah! Ah. And Beerus just... I'm surprised saying that it was actually that he actually felt that. This might be fun after all. And they have a decent this fight is a little bit more of a decent spar between them. I think Beerus actually has to use a few extra percentages of his power. But it's still gonna end the same. Goku is gonna get thoroughly stomped, but it's actually gonna be an okay fight. Like it's gonna be the initial Super Saiyan, I think got not in terms of power, but kinda how we saw them <coughs> trade blows in the beginning of their initial fight. But then once Bears is like, well, I must admit, this was quite entertaining. I haven't had this much fun in quite some time. I thank you for entertaining me, Saiyan. Boom! And I realize I actually can do a decent Bears. Uh, well, at least let's get going. <laughs> it's like, uh, uh, Lord Bears, you're not going to uh, destroy the Earth, are you? Uh, it all depends if someone something annoys me. It's like, uh, oh, God. It's like, did we learn a lesson, Goku? Yeah, I need to get... Yeah, I need to get stronger, King Kai. He's like, no, Goku, that's not what the lesson was. <laughs> so then, after that, it's going to go about the same as it did throughout the majority of the Super Arc. Um, in that, he's he's probably going to, he's going to occasionally use his Super Saiyan forms, all that, like he occasionally does. He's, base Super Saiyan is going to be the one he uses the most often, as apart from Blue. 
Other than that, we're not going to see much of the Super Saiyan 4 form at all. Until, and this would be my art, because I don't know, we have no idea what Limit Breaker Goku's going to look like, or be like, or what it's going to entail. We know it's going to be some new transformation or form. <coughs> it's going to be a new echelon of power for Goku. But, I would argue that it would be, because Goku learned to combine his Super Saiyan form with Super Saiyan Blue. Or his god form, causing Super Saiyan Blue. Now, he doesn't do that with Super Saiyan 2, as far as we know. And definitely hasn't done that with Super Saiyan 3, because that would just be... It, it would just wreck his body. Plus, he can use Kaioken with Super Saiyan Blue. And we know he can use the Kaioken with Super Saiyan 4. That was established in GT. Now, I don't think um, Goku would. Uh, I think Beerus would take him out honestly before he used the Kaioken. Because then he uses Kaioken to instead. I think he would give Beerus an actually pretty decent uh, fight. Like, Beerus might actually have to use like 10% of his power. <sighs> And Beerus would be amazed by it. like, I had to use 10% of my power against you, Saiyan. Very few opponents can actually say that. You we can take pride in that. Boom. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, I think we will see a blue Super Saiyan 4. Like, Super Saiyan uh, 4. Uh, Super Saiyan Blue 4. Something Super Saiyan 4 Blue. 4 Blue. Uh, something, something that combines the, the Super Saiyan Blue transformation with the Super Saiyan 4 transformation, then add a Kaioken multiplier on that, and you're looking at one badass mother right there. But, you know, that's... We, we have no... I can't say how that would go afterwards. <coughs> because, yeah, Goku would... I Let's... let's but, let's see. That's the most realistic scenario I see for that transformation happening. But let's do a hypothetical here. Let's, do, let's say that he actually achieves that form during the Goku Black arc. Goku Black is like, my Super Saiyan Rose form can't be beat. It's like, yeah, it's like, you say that, but I got, you're not the only one with a new transformation, but he's like, mm hmm And then Goku just goes, ha! Super Saiyan Blue. Super Saiyan Blue suddenly furs, his fur's growing out, his shirt disappears, his tail grows out, and then, boom! Doo 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 doo. <laughs> do, 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 do. Super Saiyan form. I haven't really given this a form of names. And even Go Rose and Zamasu are like, Black and Zamasu like, the fuck? I was like, what? Well, like, yeah, that's not all. And he just goes full on Kaioken. And I think he could actually literally kill Super Saiyan Black Goku in that form. Because while uh, Toriyama, I believe, or whoever's the creator, uh, Toriyama has input on the anime. But they basically said that Goku Black was the strongest character apart from Beerus, basically. Not including Vegito. Um, at that time. <coughs> and maybe currently. Because he kind of had no upper limit to his power. Um, I fully believe that he would nowhere near be the power he would need to be to take on a Super Saiyan... No, not even Super Saiyan Blue uh, Goku or um, Vegeta with training at that point, but Super Saiyan, Bro Super Saiyan Blue Super Saiyan 4 Goku with Kaioken. That, I, there's no way I think he could handle that shit. And then go, then then he would just come come Kaioken times ten, and then he just go, a point blank probably at something with instant transmission. I loved that scene when he did that against the monster too. Just ah, oh, you see some uh, Goku but just oh crap, just obliterates him. And then the monster's like, uh, well I will, I just I destroyed the Super Dragon Balls. Fuck. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, yeah, you did. You might be immortal, but guess what? Immortality don't mean shit. Your power only ain't anywhere near mine. It's like, well, I... Uh, uh, crap. And then he just gets... The, then eventually he gets my food butt into a jar. But, yeah, that's the hypothetical. The reality is, I think I'd, you, that would be his limit breaker form, where he combines the two. But anyway, that's what I think would be. it would be like if Super Saiyan 4 became canon. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know we'll do a review of it at some point. Any ideas for who would win? Star Wars, superhero, what ifs, um, magic, anything I do in the channel, put in the comments below as well. I'll put it on the list. I'll get to it at some point. I like to make, giving, going to your guys' suggestions. gives me things I don't have to work on or like think up to work on. And then I can do videos and make you guys feel like you're contributing. <coughs> so I got two who would wins I got to get to because I missed the bi-weekly one. So... Uh, the first one will be Sol Galeo versus Luana, not uh, Lunawa. Nu, uh, Lunawa. Now, I honestly, I'll be honest, I forgot who suggested this one to me. I apologize for that, but I will. If uh, if you uh, if you do see the video, I do. Uh, just put your name in there, and I'll put a shout out in the actual um, uh, 
description. Uh, and I haven't a hundred percent decided what the next, um, what the one this week's going to be, but I've got an idea on it. So just keep your eye out for that. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you.